happy joy joy happy happy joy joy happy happy joy joy happy happy joy joy That's right. 27 inch 5K iMac. Hot and right, doggy. I am so excited about it. I've been wanting one of these for the longest time. Um, and it wasn't really until my last stint with my MacBook Pro that I've had since 2012. It's the longest I've had a computer in probably 10 or, 10 or 12 years. Because when I used to work at Apple, I used to get a new one every year. Because we got a pretty nice discount. So it's been almost four years, three years since I left Apple. Finally got my first one since leaving Apple. This is all doesn't matter. When I ordered it, it said 10 days to get here. It got here in nine days, so there was a little bit of like a early, it got here early, surprise, excitement. Um, so I'm really amped for this. Um, in case you're wondering for the, the specs on it, so I upgraded it to the um, i7, the four gigahertz quad core i7. I got it stocked with eight gigs of RAM. I ordered 32 gigs of RAM. I'll actually show you how to put in here in just a minute. And then I went for the 512 solid state hard drive instead of the Fusion. I'm not completely sold on the Fusion. I'm gonna get this guy set up. According to the measurements on the website, I should have a quarter inch clearance between that TV and the top of the iMac. Uh, so here's to hoping. But first things first, let's get it out the box. take this uh, this fabric kind of covering off of it just yet because I'm gonna I'm about to lay it on its face uh, to put the RAM air in the back so let's do that next the one tip I'll give you if you get an iMac always keep the box because this is the best way to carry your iMac around if you move or you have to take it in the store for something this is the best way to carry it anyway back to the RAM. all right so what we're gonna do is lift this, set it gently on its face, go ahead and peel the bottom. So you'll see under here, you've got kind of a trap door here. That's where your RAM is. And you'll see here, right above this power, there's a little button. And that's essentially what we're gonna need to depress to pop the trap door off. So we'll move this film off. There you go. These are not Apple endorsed RAM door removal tools. But you'll see in there there's going to be the two 4 gig sticks of RAM that it came with. I'm just going to pull these tabs out from the sides and the tray kind of drops down. From there you can just gently take out your existing RAM. Now although this isn't RAM you're planning to use again, you're going to try not to touch any of the uh, contact points. Next, you can take your new RAM, which I've gotten from OWC, MaxSales.com. So whenever Macs have the opportunity to be user upgradable, I'll always get it with this, the lowest standard RAM that it comes with and get third-party RAM and install it myself. Usually, uh, it's gonna be a lot cheaper. For example, this computer comes with eight. To upgrade it to 16 is $200. But if I go third-party, I got 32 gigs of RAM for $200. Now, it is notable that the RAM that I'm getting, that I'm about to install here, is not gonna be covered by any Apple Care. Uh, so if something is wrong, Apple essentially has to assume that it's your RAM from a legal liability standpoint. Um, now you can always hang on to this old RAM and if something goes wrong, put this RAM back in and then take it into Apple. And then from here, it's just kind of moving backwards. You could alternatively get two 16 gig sticks, which then like, in the future, you could get two more and go up to 64, because I believe these will support up to 64. Um, but that just felt kind of like overkill for me right now. So, carefully package up the old RAM. And then just pop the 
cover back on and we're ready to go. So let's set it up. So we're going to clean this up a little before we put the iMac on. Mainly I want to move the monitor. This is the 4K Dell. I want to move that over to this side and then I'll put the iMac over there. We've got a bunch of cords that are coming up like that I don't really need anymore. Um, there's certain adapters, MacBook chargers. So let's clean that up real quick. Boom, just like that. All right, let's get this guy up there. Now, I've pulled through all the cables that I'm gonna to need to plug into the back of this guy. And actually, just so you can see, you've got auxiliary SD card, four USB 3s, two Thunderbolts, and an Ethernet port. That's real close. Might have to just move the bars down on the TV so it lifts it a bit. We'll worry about that later. So I almost forgot this guy. It's the Blue Lounge USB extension. Because it's so hard to get to the USB ports, this kind of brings one around the front. And then last but not least, I'm not going to worry too much about cable management just yet because I want to see how I use it before I zip tie anything down. So just kind of kind of have everything in place so all the OCD cable managers just chill. So whenever I get a new computer I always like to start fresh just so it doesn't bring any of the bad habits or bugs or anything that was going wrong with the old one. So uh, the rest of my night will probably be just building this guy out. Um, with some of my favorite apps and uh, build it the way I use it. I'm excited. Alright, so I've had the iMac for about a week and a half now and I'm loving it. And uh, I've kind of sort of finalized a few more things about it. Of course, it'll evolve as time goes on. But uh, let me show you some of the things that I've done to it. I guess I haven't shown this to you guys, but this is kind of my charging station. I've got lightning, micro and mini USB. Um, got a dock here. Anyway, it's usually where I'll charge my battery packs. But yeah, this is the setup is pretty clean. Uh, I've got a dock now, a Thunderbolt dock, so that uh, I have easier access to some USB ports. So I can plug in drives more easily. And then back here, put the backpack on from 12 South that has my drive for my video. So I have video drive and I have a photo drive, which is this guy here. Well, that's it. The only problem really is down here. I have a mess of cable, you know, like I have an extra ethernet cable, uh, the Thunderbolt, a charger for uh, the MacBook Pro. So I don't know, I just don't really have a good way of, I guess, keeping that neat. But yeah, that's it, that's the battle station. That's, uh, that's where I do all the edits. I'm loving it, it's pretty sweet. <laughs>